This is Hank from Reptile Tool Works. You give me 90 seconds and I'll make you smarter than I am. You've always heard the old adage, duller than a fro. Well, this is a fro, and this is kind of an infomercial for this little fro. I used to make great big fros, and you can find them. But when I started making white oak baskets and smaller stuff out of cedar, it's just too cumbersome. So this is our little fro, and it is kind of dull. I mean, it's, you know, you wouldn't want to lick it or anything, but it is kind of dull. Now, the nice thing about a fro is they have a tapered pole in them, okay, that lets you drive a round tapered handle up in them, okay? You give it a little tap there, okay? And the fro is ready to use. Now, we go ahead and throw in a white oak barrel maul, okay, or mallet, and I want to show you something. We put the handle on a little bit of an angle for a reason. That way you don't hit your knuckles every time you hit your piece of wood, okay? But you take a fro, little range here on top of this, you take a fro, you set it up, and you use it to split things. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. Just like that. But anyway, normally you're splitting something a little bigger. You can set up a brake or do it over a stump or something. Okay, but you come in and set up and drive it in, and then you can use the fro by twisting it to split the material. Now when we make our used to make a chopstick set, okay, we would use the fro for. Alright. And if you've ever made baskets, I mean, it look like I got too many hands here or anything. When you make baskets, there's a lot of times when you're splitting a little split off a white oak log, okay, that you want to be real, real clean and real precise about it. So, our little basket maker's fro, okay, and oak mallet. We've still got a few. Not we'll make you one just for you. We've still got a few, but if not, we'll make one just for you. That's kind of that's a new model. I like that. But anyway, so. Um, we don't sell as many of these we used to when we sold woodworking tools full time, but I've still got a few of these in stock. I ordered one the other day, thank you, from Florida. And uh, it's just a great little tool if you really need it. And if you don't need it, you can buy it and hang it on the wall and look pretty. And people can ask you and you can say, look, this is officially duller than a pro. Have a good day, okay?